Hi, uh, I wanted to make this uh, particular video because tomorrow the so-called female or femme chef trailer for the game Mass Effect is coming out and I wanted to continue on the theme of so-called sexism in video games or computer games and uh, add some points regarding this whole issue. Now um, I'm going to try to proceed in a coherent and uh, brief manner. One, uh, as I said in the last video, in the previous video regarding this, 80% of gamers are male, maybe even more. And so uh, concerns about uh, a smaller niche, that is the female uh, gamer, are not as great as they are uh, for males. That said, uh, even if it's just 15% or 20%, that's a fairly large uh, profit margin, a possibility to make profit for the company that produces the game, the IE Bioware is the name of the company. And so that's a good thing. If they want to make money off of female customers, that's fine. Uh, but um, the, the femship trailers, I, as I think I've m mentioned, it's this huge issue. And they're always raving women and ranting women and feminists who are always complaining about things. Now, with regards to femship, uh, this is once again a science fiction game where uh, basically it's 200 years in the future, approximately, and you have all kinds of special abilities and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Um, Bioware is a fairly new company in the fact that it's one of the few companies out there that uh, has for years, over a decade, offered uh, so-called female gamers the option of playing a female protagonist, as you can do in this game. Um, there are different, slightly different lines, it's a different, different persona, and of course it's a different voice actress to the male one. Um, the problem I see here uh, well, I often only mention some of the problems, allegedly, according to the female gamers. I said, um, they all want their cake and they want to eat it too. So there were always have been routinely massive, routinely massive uh, complaints about the fact that the fem femship, I'll refer to her femship, that's her name, that's what they call her, a female chef, femship, is, uh, is too masculine, her mannerisms, her gait is too masculine, her posture is too masculine, her general movement is too masculine, her voice is too masculine. All of these things, of course, are too masculine. Um, there aren't enough feminine hairstyles available, and these are mostly women who are complaining. Uh, now, that said, um, I have no issues with that, and I actually play the character occasionally, the female character, for the sake of variety, because um, there are some differences in uh, actual story. Uh, but so they, they can never cease to complain about. Uh, the character, even though they're being granted, in my opinion, a great opportunity to have a female protagonist, and never mind the fact that the canon shepherds, whether it's a male one or a female one, are customizable. So you know, if you want to give your own one a mohawk and an afro, ponytails, or whatever, you can do that, more or less. So I don't see what the issue is. Um, oh, never mind the fact that complaints that her breasts are too big, or who knows? I mean, it never ends. There are always complaints, and there are, there are, it's usually women who are complaining about them. Now, uh, I want to make some observations, never about the nature of femship, because she's held routinely, you see this in the, in the forums all the time, as a sort of paragon or a uh, exemplar of, um, of female virtue, of, uh, of the strong, independent woman, uh, who represents, in many ways, someone to look up to. Uh, it's basically a, a figure of strength for the female population, and this is why she's so good, and so on and so forth. Now, there have been a lot of debates as to whether or not 200 years hence, in the future, uh, you could modify human physiology to the point where females would be the physical equals of males, i.e. carry all the lug around, the heavy weapons, the armor, so on and so forth. I'm not going to address that here because there's no way to know. It's a science fiction game at the end of the day. But um, what a lot of these so-called feminists or women or interchangeable there, I guess, don't know, if they actually thought about it, is that, you know, they're right. Femshep is all about equality. And let me tell you why, because she doesn't get any special privileges in the game. Um, I have yet to see any special privilege she gets because she's a female. She takes the same shit, she dies just like male shepherd, she has to carry all the crap around. She has the same responsibilities and the same expectations are put on her, just as they would be in male shepherd. This, in my opinion, ultimately is the antithesis of feminism. It's the antithesis of the modern woman. And it's um, basically everything that uh, 
the modern woman is not. And I, it's very doubtful, at least in my mind, that any modern woman would strive for that, that, that kind of equality where they actually have to fucking deal with the same burdens as a man uh, on an equal level and accept um, the same consequences. So in a way, she's femshep, female shepherd, is the antithesis uh, of uh, what some feminists would like to claim is she's a positive role model. I mean, most recently, well, not that recently, a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was, some mother wrote that her daughter, who plays Mass Effect, and her daughter started playing and how this non-sexualized shepherd is something that a, a woman, a, girl, a young girl, can look up to, and so on and so forth. And But the problem, as I said, is the world shot through by uh, female privilege, where women um, have many, many more options than men do, and where women uh, are allowed to fail on a much more catastrophic level, catastrophic, uh, catastrophic level than, than men. Uh, but with fewer consequences, it, it seems a bit of a, a lame statement to say this is something that women can look up to, because the consequences are, quite frankly, not the same in the real world. And thus, for me, it's laughable to talk about femship as a symbol uh, of, or at least a, a figure someone can look up to, an idol or you know, exemplar of female virtue. Uh, she simply isn't. Um, what she is, actually, she's a genuine symbol of female equality, but it's a fantasy. <laughs> kind of ironic, considering the game is complete science fiction. It makes sense that uh, the female protagonist is a product of science fiction, and her behavior and her social environment is also fiction. That is to say, uh, you know, she deals with things on equal level as a man, and she, her, the expectations put on her are the same as uh, those of a man. So that is, uh, I just want to, wanted to mention that because now with the, with the trailer coming out tomorrow, and, and see, if it doesn't, first, first off, the trailer were not to come out, we'd never hear the end of it. And if it does come out tomorrow, um, well, there's still going to be complaints. There'll be complaints about her appearance, her movement, what she says, what she does. It's, there's no pleasing these people. Um, and it seems, no matter what the genre is, uh, or whatever it is that maybe mostly men enjoy, women always have a way of sinking their talons into it and trying to usurp it or change it. I mean, at the very least, there's some aspect of gaming um, that, that most women can't, tend to keep their hands off because they have zero interest in it, and those are the technical details. Things like classes, equipment, uh, powers, weapons, what are the most effective combinations, actual gameplay as opposed to story. And they tend to... Uh, keep their distance from that, but uh, yeah, otherwise it's uh, it's pretty dreadful. Uh, never mind the uh, the fawning female threads about uh, this particular you can romance figures in the game uh, this guy, it's the longest uh, thread on any uh, NPC in the game, where there are these, all this fan art and these women asking what, in real life, what if, if what kind of furniture he might own or it's, it's disgusting really. Uh, go ahead and talk about taking the game way too seriously. But, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, I mean, I suppose it is worth it, you know, if it truly is the case that 20% of uh, people buy the game are women, then it's worth, uh, at least in financial terms, I imagine, putting on a trailer involving the female shepherd and appeasing these, uh, these people. But, um, it, it, you know, the issues that are brought up are just so, no, well, and as I, as I want to reinforce that original point, the main point of this is that a, a female space marine in a science fiction setting who uh, takes equal punishment and, and accepts equal consequences as the male counterpart, that is science fiction. It's not something the modern woman would ever look up to because the modern woman enjoys her privileges. Um, even if she's willing to acknowledge that it's not necessarily a right, she still enjoys it. You know, I have um, an internet acquaintance, a female one, who, who admitted that uh, she likes the fact that men are extra nice to her because she's a female. Um, on the other hand, she concedes, recognizes that uh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You, know, you can't have privilege and equality at the same time. Well, 
I think that's about as close as you can get with very few exceptions. I mean, there's some on, on YouTube you might find some to a woman who's actually willing to uh, admit that things are, well, awry and not as equal as they like to claim they are, and not in the right way, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think the vast majority of women, even upon recognizing this, recognizing this will still want to cling to their privileges, their social benefits um, on every level, their socioeconomic benefits, I guess, is the way to summarize that. So, uh, and yeah, we see that in, 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 like I said, the threads in the forum that are the loudest, the longest, the most uh, cacophonous are, are usually the threads involving well, Femshep or some critical character. And it, it, it's not always, but usually uh, women who, who make these threads, who complain, where's the Femshep trailer, where's the Femshep trailer? I, I can't even, well, it's not that I'm listening to it, but I can't look at the, the, that, that anymore. Well, I watch the Femshep trailer when it comes out, um, allegedly sometime tomorrow. Yeah, probably I will. Um, I am interested. I do enjoy the game thoroughly, so that's the reason why. But I mean, I don't care one way whether it's the Femshep or not the Femshep. Um, but uh, it seems that men have just have no sacred area, sacred place where they can just sort of convene and enjoy themselves anymore, without women coming in and just completely disrupting it. Um, whereas women have tons of them. Uh, to start at how many they have. Like I said, female chef, any, if you're a woman and you're watching this, remember all the privileges that you have in your modern society. And remember that the femme chef that you so revere as the epitome of female virtue bears no resemblance whatsoever in her socioeconomic environment, in the actions she takes, and the consequences she must accept to your world. And uh, you should really be aware of that the next time you think she's a positive role model, because I severely doubt that any woman real world, whether she's a gamer or not, would actually want to accept things on equal terms and deal with all the bullshit that men do in reality, and incidentally in the science fiction game. Um, so having said that, thanks for listening.